This is your GMP Minute by Kevin Wall. Today we will discuss Phase 1 Master Batch Record Requirements. A major part of phase appropriate CGMP is understanding the purpose of a document at each phase of development. It is important to tailor the GMP expectations to the level of process understanding available at each development phase. The purpose of the MBR during Phase 1 is to adequately describe how the batch was produced. The documentation should include the materials used, the equipment, the process settings, and performance results. The records provide for completion of the test plans with the appropriate acceptance criteria. In Phase 1 manufacturing, use qualified equipment and the analytical methods should be demonstrated to be scientifically sound. The raw material quality should be adequately known. The operators should be trained for the process. Let's look at what is not provided as compared to a commercial process. Critical parameters will not be defined in Phase 1 production records. Moreover, it is likely only set points will be provided. Process ranges, if any, will be for guidance. Deviations from these ranges are likely, and there will be copious handwritten notes during execution. The reason is simple. During Phase 1, very little is known about the process. Process scientists may be making adjustments as new knowledge is gained during production. The handwritten comments should not be seen as a bad thing. In fact, they go to the main purpose of the batch record, adequately record the conditions under which the batch was produced. The record is as much about learning as anything else. Batch record review covers these GMP essentials as described. Adequacy of Phase 1 material depends on the satisfactory results of the end testing and conformance to specification. Individuals new to early development could find this uncomfortable. Ease will develop with aligning the expectations. Subscribe now so you don't miss a GMP Minute.